Ladies and gentlemen, you're back live with TFP2 Tire Holics Fight Promotions, the recruitment. The following bout is the final of our amateur bouts on today's card, but don't forget there's another five bouts coming your way after an interval, which is going to include our two co main and main events, both for titles the South African National Championship, and it's sanctioned by the World Muay Thai Organization. Bout number five, amateur rules, three by two minutes in the super middleweight division. Introducing to you first, he'll be fighting out of the blue corner. 32 years of age, standing 1.73 meters tall. He weighed in at 74.65 kilograms. Making his debut and fighting out of Iron Tiger in Cape Town, please welcome Dean Grobler. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, 28 years old, standing 1.78 meters tall. He tipped the scales at 75.5 kilograms, making his amateur debut. His skills are honed at Ty Hollex, fighting out of Cape Town by way of Johannesburg. Please welcome Renzo Refo. Artists in the center. The final amateur bout on this afternoon's action-packed TFP2 
two. The recruitment card sees us. Welcome. Dean Krobler up against Renzo Refo. Ty Hollocks against Iron Tiger. Hostilities are renewed here again at TFP2. What do we know about these two fighters? Ty Hollocks, obviously, the training uh, facility of Renzo Refo. Carl Bergman? Yeah, I don't know Renzo too well. I think he does mostly um, like private classes with Nick, and I think he started coming to some of the open mat classes with the guys l lately. But um, I've seen him spar a bit, and I've seen him fight, and he's similar to Hazelden, just you know, going forward again, likes to take all those shots, but also quite slick. Like he's got some good kicks, and he, he's quite aware of what's happening in the ring. So it'll be good to see him Judge. in his first fight. Judge. Judging this bout is going to be Carl. Me again. Now we fall into some kind of disrepute. Mike was 2 1 up. <laughs> and then he went and proceeded an eight calls bag of nuts. Yeah. Therefore, we're a bag down. It's all to play for. <laughs> Carl needs to equalize and then run very fast with that bag of nuts to the back. <laughs> or, or Mike's taking all the nuts. <laughs> I'm taking all the nuts. So this one's for all the nuts. Krobler going just slightly north of those. Big kick from Renzo. He starts off the first round very well, very positively. You can already see, size-wise, Renzo Refo, big back. Looks like quite a broader kind of fighter and uh, seems to be physically having the better of the exchanges so far. Fight, guys. So Renzo looks a little bit more, more composed. I think uh, Dean looks a little bit frantic, a little bit frazzled. Maybe that's just his type of energy. Nice deep. Good respect shown by both fighters. They meet in the middle again. Krobler against Refo. Refo catch and sweep Beautiful. beautifully executed. It's great timing. Krobler trying to repay in kind. Unfortunately, he couldn't get the leg out from underneath Renzo Refo. Refo makes him pay with a right hand to the top of the head. Renzo changed some nice base there. Very oh, strong nice on the knee base. down the middle. Great knee up the middle, just like you said, Michael. Attempts it again. Krobler's got to be on guard. I don't like to see them punching in the clinch. It would be nice to see an Oh, there's a little elbow in the middle. Like you read your mind, are going upstairs with the elbow in the upward direction. I think the guys are a bit tentative to hit each other with these elbow pads on. But as I said, the guys always put that in there and give the guys something else to think about. Yeah, you might not, you might not get the big cut. Oh, it's another nice sweep. That's one for one. That's making this round nice and close. Someone's bag of nuts is in jeopardy right now over here at the announcer's table where we're scoring the bout. Very close because it's equals up in terms of the leg sweeps. Re Renzo's fishing for those low kicks with his hands. It's, it's looking for trouble. If his opponent can read it, he might fake a low kick and come upstairs. He might catch him. Bell goes round number one, done and dusted. Carl Bergman, how did you see that one going? Tough round to score. Yeah, super close. They both had a sweep apiece and lots of strikes landing. But again, I'm giving the you know the guy who's putting more pressure on is usually getting the advantage in my opinion. So that's going to refer. I have, I have to agree with you. you. Yeah, you have to agree because you've also got an eye on his sack of nuts that's sitting on the table over there. Um, one round in the can. We're assuming that the judges are seeing it the same way that you did. It was a very tight round to very score. Nice. You know, we could very well, you could very well be wrong. I'm not going to stick sure. my head out there and put out a score because, quite frankly, I just don't know enough. I also like that Renzo, Renzo, sorry, Renzo was looking quite composed and he was, uh, you know, Walking forward, landing his strikes, whereas Dean was looking like he was under pressure, eating a lot of strikes, eating those knees in the middle period of the round, and that to me sort of Second gave the advantage to, to Heffa. But yeah. even saying that, he had the composure to weather the storm. He did look confused. He did look like he didn't know what was coming back at him, but he still managed to scramble. He still managed to score the points, and he made it a very tight round as we go into round number two. It was a tight round, but I think it was a clear winner for that round. So round two. definitely, in my opinion, is up as well. Let's see how these guys go for the next the next couple of rounds. Welcome to round number two, a slapping leg on Dean Krobler's thigh, thanks to Renzo Refo, who gets stuck in, throwing the elbows at close range. Renzo looking nice and aggressive, coming forward nice and strong. But still fishing for that leg. I don't like him fishing for that leg. And he ate a big right hand from Krobler. Like you say, oh, oh and a and spinning, a spinning elbow. elbow. On the tip of the jaw, Renzo took that really well. That's, thank God for the elbow pads there. 
Yeah, and while he was doing that, he was actually moving away from him. So the strike, although it was the elbow was moving towards him, his body was moving away. So taking a lot of the impact with him, Dean. So well trained, these kids coming out of Iron Tiger. So well trained, these kids coming out of Ty Hollicks. We've set up a little classic here, and it's going down really well. Hard round to score in the first, Krubler making all the inroads in the second. I still think uh, Renzo is looking very composed, and that's always important, at least for me, in terms of a Muay Thai bat. The guy who, is, you know, who doesn't look flustered, who doesn't look like he's taking strikes, not just a points game. No, I agree with you 100%. Composure and moving forward, aggression and timing is, is, is key in Muay Thai. He's not backing off. Every time he gets hit, he's coming forward again. Yeah, and you just walk through that spinning elbow, like, you know, basically dust it off. And another nice sweep. Is that a sweep? I mean, it didn't look like much to me, but what does it count for? It counts a lot, uh, Dev. You know, when, when you're putting your opponent on the mat, when you're throwing them with a clean sweep, you know, it was a nice sweep off the hip. You know, you don't need to have a big, vicious movement. You just have to put your opponent on the floor, and that's what he did. And it's psychologically, you know, for Dean getting thrown on the ground and even physically having to get up again, it saps you. Gripping in the clinch, it's knees to the stomach coming from both fighters. The right hand fires off from Brooklyn. Oh, and here another we go nice again. Renzo with a big right hand of his own. He wants to make it known that he wants this round as we go to the end of round number two. Carl Bergman, what do you have? Again, I'm giving that one to Renzo, although I'm liking that, you know, Dean, even though he's getting flustered, he's still coming back, he's going for the clinch, he's aware that, you know, he's getting put under pressure, you clinch up, go for the sneaky elbows, you can always, you know, you can catch a person. Giving that round to? Uh, to Renzo again. So, have you got Renzo two rounds up? I do. Tough night, tough day over here, and he's not getting many favors from the announcer's table. Is Dean Krobler, but he's putting up one heck of a fight. No, for sure, I'm impressed. You know, he's still taking all these strikes, and you can see he's, he's pretty tired if you're looking at him in the corner there. Yeah, both guys are going to be tired. I mean, this is, they're both their first fights. I think, you know, for guys of this level, you know, showing, showing such nice clean technique, landing some nice sweeps, putting the elbows in, working the clinch, there's some good composure being shown in and amongst, like, the chaos of the, the, the strikes. There's some nice, there's really some nice things. So these guys are really well trained. And that tenacity is going to pay off in the long run. You know, win or lose, these guys are getting great experience. Yeah, this is an amateur event. This is their first fights. You know, it's Second not re zone. really about just getting that big W, although that is important. It's still just for them to get that experience and to take the knocks and keep going forward. Quite what? right. Both these guys making their debut and they're That's putting class, on a heck guys. of a show for us Step for back. debutants. I mean, we didn't Run expect three. this, but Jump. this is what we're getting. So look, what, what I like now is what, you, what this tournament is, is bringing out is you, you don't see the K1 style in these guys coming out for their first Muay Thai fights. These guys are looking like Muay Thai fighters, not K1 fighters who've been you know, put into a Muay Thai ring. That makes sense. Retrofitted, if you know what I mean. And I mean, both these guys coming out of legit Thai fighting gyms. It's not like an all-round MMA gym where fighting. the guys learn different kinds of styles, like Michael's gym. But... <laughs> yeah, hey guys, listen, stop. I think um, it, it's... It's very, it's, it's very tough to be able to balance it all, you know, keep all the tradition of the, of the Muay Thai and, uh, and the, the tradition of the traditional martial arts and the mixed martial arts gym. But I think we do a good job of doing that. And, you know, later on tonight when we see Ryan fight, you might see some of that come out. I certainly hope so. He's up against a very tough opponent in Shane. So that, of course, good. our main event at the end of the night. It's for the South African national title, proudly sanctioned by the World Muay Thai organization Pro-Am Rules. Cochran up against Shane Deacon, and that's going to be a cracker. Right. The other thing about the styling that we're seeing, you know, we're seeing a lot more catches because it's allowed. You're seeing a lot more elbows. The guys are stepping through, and that makes them put a lot more pressure on them. You know, it's not so much bouncing right, right, around right, in K1, right, looking back. for the points, which is still great. Jump. You do see that every now and again, and you can, you can win fights like that. But in Muay Thai, you want to stay in the pocket. You want to be in the guy's face. No, I 100% agree. And these guys are working nicely in the clinch. They're throwing intelligent strikes. They're not just going like crazy with the knees and just throwing for the sake of it. They're actually aiming and they're firing. Big elbows coming in from Dean Krobler in the corner. 30 seconds left oh. to go in this fight. That's another one. Krobler's corner, loving that as well. The fight takes an interesting turn. If that wasn't with elbow pads, it might have been a nice cut. In the corner of Dean Krobler, Nido Gomba. We fought in our last event in the main event against Rafael Wozniak. That then was Ty Hollicks versus Iron Tiger. This fight is Ty Hollicks versus Iron Tiger as we go to the bell. Dean Krupp is doing a great job coming back in this last round. Break. 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 
What a fight, guys. Yeah. What a fight. Great, great debut yeah. for both guys. So, Carl Bergman, by all accounts, you'd given the first two rounds to Renzo Refo. Are you going to give the third to Krobler? I gave that one to Krobler, although I thought Renzo was doing pretty well in the beginning. I think Dean turned it up and just started coming with a bit more elbows, more forward pressure. I think if he had done that throughout the fight, he might have secured the rounds. But we'll see what the judges have seen. What a terrific bout to bring to an end the pro and the am section of this afternoon's card. We go to the judges' scorecard. Your winner coming by way of split decision victory. Fighting out of Thai Renzo Ray.